Part of what we are going to do actually is to introduce awards in roles and aspects, filming aspects that have been traditionally considered male domain, cinematography, um, dire directing, editing, and it comes at the right time when we've had actually initiatives such as uh, the one Bed of Thorns, Eleanor. Congratulations, thank you very much. That was really a great initiative. Yes. So like, um, she got, we, we have a film, I think it's, it easily might be the only one of its kind in Africa where the crew, because while you had that initiative, a group in Italy was thinking like you. Yeah. Yes, Flesh Up, it's also in the competition. They did what you did. They made a film by women, cinematography, everything. I think the only aspect that wasn't uh, by women is editing. Yeah. So it's something to celebrate, especially since we also have some women editors. And it shows you that it's the perfect time, the right time. The women have been majorly in front of the camera. And if you look at the feminist movement, uh, when they came out and to, to, to take charge and to claim the female gaze, the feminine gaze, it was because the women were playing a role of um, actually pleasing men, satisfaction. Um, and the women were saying, no, we can do more than just being tools that are going to actually massage men's egos or actually please them. Yes, it sounds like I'm being very... <laughs> Negative? It's not. It's a fact if you look at Hollywood and, and the feminist gaze and why the, that movement came out. And we as Native are building on efforts that women elsewhere have done. I had actually never noticed that I'm a male feminist until when the things I've been doing have picked uh, a platform that speaks for the women. So yes, in Uganda. The efforts that women are doing, and women have done a lot, women movement have done a lot, women feminists have done a lot. We need to compliment them. We need to take the word out there. We need to take charge of our narrative and storytelling. So this, this means that women are really entering into the profession. And women doing so, it means that we are going, in future we shall see that we have quite a number of films made by women, and like, this time we received totally few feature films from women made in Uganda. As women, we've always had the minor roles given to us, not just in film, but also in the corporate sector. So that is in arts and the corporate world, the women are given minor roles all over the world. It's been coming for a long time, but then with time the wave has changed, and right now women are taking on roles behind the scenes, in front of the cameras, in the corporate sector, and I'm really glad I'm part of this new wave that has taken over for the women being in the lead. Yeah, my film was nominated, demented. I don't know, it's my first nomination and I'm so, I'm so grateful. I'm happy, I feel so inspired. <laughs> uh, uh, one thing that always inspires me is when uh, certain women out there believe in us and give us an opportunity. It's so wonderful because we sometimes get timid by men who are in where you're coming from. You can't do this. You, you, you're incapable of doing such. They don't believe in us. So whenever we're given such opportunity, I believe that we shall be there. We are to be there. So very many of us want to be like me. So like I don't know what. I can't forget the day that they gave me an opportunity to be a director. They, they gave me an opportunity to direct a documentary. I was like, let me know it. You can. Some people don't believe in you, but when someone believes in you, get to learn. And there are women there who need this platform, but they don't know how to connect maybe to Antara. They don't know who to connect to, to find, to get involved in media, to do film. But this opportunity came, and then I was like, yes, place can also be part of this this celebration can also be part of this so that people know that there are organizations or there are celebrations like this where everyone can come and share ideas and then we network together. Thus, the Celebrating Womanhood Festival, of course we did not limit the borders. The issues affecting women in Uganda are 
apparently affecting me elsewhere. But also the case studies to pick, the things to celebrate, the milestones, the amazing things that are happening, that women are doing. So we decided to introduce the Celebrating Women Festival Awards so that more women come up. If you look at how many women since Amakula, the first Amakula, and then not just women, but the film industry, how it has grown, especially since the introduction of Amakula Kampala International Film Festival, then the Pearl of Africa.